Hey guys, my name is Moon, and welcome back for more Persona 5 Royal. So yeah, let's continue our Let's Play. <laughs> so let's go to stations. No, 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 Central Street, Central Street. Let's go eat because it's raining. Sleazy guy. Hmm? Let's go in. Let's take the same stuff, Sando. For real? <sighs> nice. <laughs> Wanna head back? Yes. Oh, crossword. Hey, yes. Hey. Unparalleled, unparalleled, unparalleled artist. Oh, okay, so what is the other ones? Uh, rough drawing. Rough drawing is a sketch, right? Sketch. Sketching. Dutch painter. How? Oh. Yeah, I know. Don't, I don't know this label for unparalleled artist. Uh, probably means like a very, very good, right? Maybe master. He's a master artist, right? Is that it, master? Yes. Okay, we got it. Most often used in the phrase "master of the arts." All right. I see. Nice. Okay, let's go outside. Let's visit the place again. Oh, who is this? Okay. <laughs> I was like, who the hell is this? Can the twins uh come again? What are you gonna do today? Now Okay. Hmm. Movie theater, okay. You mean the movie theater? So we can do this every day? No, maybe we'll do it now, then maybe later again. Guide me, inmate. Yes, let's see. Not bad for an inmate. That was rather enjoyable, inmate. We won't underestimate the human imagination again. You may claim to have enjoyed yourself, but your screams told quite a different story to anyone who could hear. It's no wonder how everyone mistakes us for elementary school students. Shut up! Shut up. It was only because of that thing jumping out of my face. And you were just as scared, Justine. It certainly was startling. The eyes and the nose seemed to stretch out right at me. And it all began the moment I donned those black glasses. What exactly were those that we were? Oh, a 3D glasses. Oh, so there were some sort of trick to the glasses. But your own glasses are just normal ones, right? Your own attention wasn't wandering while we were caught up in the movie, was it? Why is it that humans even create such a large, elaborate fabrications in the first place, though? Isn't the imagining of these things satisfying enough? Even dreaming seems like a superior pastime. Why do humans go so far as to spend their money just to witness fic fictional events? Hmm. To escape reality? So they wish to avert their eyes from the world they live in. What an unsettling answer. <laughs> escape, you say. That sounds rather human as well. Don't tell me. You wouldn't happen to be plotting an escape of your own, would you, inmate? No matter how much you might rail against it, you shall remain our inmate. Even the very thought of such foolish endeavor is pointless for you. Or could that line thinking be yet another avenue of escaping reality? What a pathetic fantasy. I'll bet you were thinking of blasting away the cell door, weren't you? Don't even consider such crassness, Caroline. If you were to attempt such blatant jailbreak, either our master or ourselves would notice immediately. Oh, and how would you do it, Justine? <laughs> I would use a spoon to dig a hole through the wall and conceal it with a poster or of some distractive image. 
blowing open the cell door seems more impactful. They used the plan in one of the movie previews, correct? They wielded the bazooka and went blowing everything up. In any recaptured escapee is executed on the spot. Freedom or death are the only options for an inmate on the lamb. Suspense and the excitement are necessary elements of any escape. Did you learn nothing from the movie, Caroline? Or were you just simply enjoying yourself? What? Shut up. The inmate will settle this for us. Hey, tell us, how do you try to escape? Would you blast a door or use a spoon? Blast that sucker open. Did you hear that, Justine? It's all about making the greatest impact. Very well then. At any rate, he can't escape us regardless of what he does. There's no harm in allowing yourself to fantasize a little bit every now and then. Indeed, today we learned more about the power of human imagination. No wonder such vile palaces plague humanity. You're hereby free to fantasize, but keep in keep it in check, inmate. Your job is to focus on your rehab. That being said, here's your reward. Frey. Oh, didn't we need Frey for one of the characters? Now, let us return. Uh, I believe that we will that will be all for today, so it is time to return. I think we need Frey, yeah. For a creature, not creature, but yeah, they need a persona with uh, the Ame no Muzume, I think. They need uh, that one with Frey skill. And we can do it. We'll do it maybe, uh, not now, but sometime. The Phantom Thieves. What do you think about that? I was wondering about that. That's cool. <laughs> it's so cool. We're getting uh, popular and popular. The fan side, I mean. Maruki again. Yes. Sounds like a lot of people are going to be on a trip tomorrow. To the studio. Yes, you guys get to see the show too. I wouldn't mind seeing that. I like uh, talk shows and variety shows. Whatever you'll talk about the Phantom Thieves, they certainly get plenty of attention on TV and the internet. Hmm. Though I'm a little worried about what might happen if the media gets people to riled up. Oh, that reminds me. Have you guys covered total totalitarianism yet? <laughs> As a governmental structure that unites its people under a single ideology and authoritarian control of the masses. In theory, it brings the people together under one ideal that definitely comes with logistical benefits. But it also means forcing ideals on people, assimilating the unwilling. And that's how wars get started. How about you? Alright, Amamiya Kun, here's a question. Where does totalitarianism take things a step further than authoritarianism? Uh, oh my god, what is this? Public? Controlling public thought? Hmm, not one of these for sure. This one. This is it. Exactly. Okay. Well said. Yes, I knew that. Yes. Yes, a, tol a totalitarian government tries to control the culture, morals, and even thoughts of its people. To minimize dissidents, they try to assimilate everyone into one ideology. Even reading the room can be seen as a form of personal assimilation. You all do that too, right? I tried, I tried to though. I'm not great at it. It's not a bad skill to have. It can even help you survive the modern world. But you can't do it too much. If you make an echo chamber, then the people whose opinions differ might get hurt. Oh, he actually knew that? Maybe I should ask if I can borrow his notes. Nice going. Wow, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. Thank you. So I like her to remind all of you to keep a strong sense of self and an open mind so we can disagree and still live in harmony. I guess class is almost over. That's it for today. Mm. A strong sense of self, huh? We need to make sure uh, we don't lose sight of what we believe in, too. And sounds like the principal's trying to get info on the students. Why do you think he's doing that? It's probably because of Mr. Kamashita, right? Considering what happened with Suzuki-san. Huh? Suzuki-san. I heard Principal Kobayakawa knew about the sexual harassment too, and just turned a blind eye to it. I bet he wants to snuff out any rumors now. Even the volleyball team was told to keep quiet. 
That's the worst! So that's what he's using Nijibis Senpai for? <sighs> oh yeah, rumor has it she knew as well. Isn't that horrible? Chick's all noble about it too. Nijima Senpai knew? <laughs> Nijima Senpai. What is the meaning of this, Principal Kobayakawa? Why did you post that notice? It was all for your sake. I thought the more information you had, the easier your investigation would become. And? Did any information arise about the case I asked you to look into? Nothing yet. I will pass the details along if anything comes up. Right now, there is a more pressing issue. It appears there are students at Shujin who are being threatened by a criminal organization. Uh. A student who saw your posting came to us looking for help. I'd like to request a countermeasure. Isn't this some sort of mistake? I can't believe this would happen to the students of our academy. Now is no time for such problems. There is still lingering concern regarding the Phantom Thieves. But we received a request for help. I'm rather busy at the moment. If you wish to do something, you will need to act on your own. Sir, are you sure about this? I'm still investigating your case as well. Yes, that's correct. It works out perfectly. My intentions have borne fruit. This criminal organization must be the connecting factor. If you pursue this criminal issue, you'll surely find clues about the Phantom Thieves. But that's absurd! So, let's say this rumor is true. Do you intend to ignore those students in trouble? I... Your sister would have solved this easily if she were in your position. My expectations of you are very high. I hope you don't disappoint. Afternoon. Okay, so what kind of person would be a bigger target than Madarame? Hmm, I wonder. I guess it'd have to be someone who's the talk of the town. That's quite a vague prerequisite. I don't we have any more specific ideas. A crooked, a evil overlord. <laughs> Dude, this ain't some kind of video game. Either way, we'll need a lead before we can begin anything. We'll just have to look for that as we go. If there was a big target just lying around for us. Hey! Hey, tomorrow's field trip is the TV station. Oh! Oh! Is that... Kasumi? Okay, what can we do? What is her... Fate. I have fate already, I think. Yes. Phoenix. Senpai, do you have time today? Yes. Go see her. Inokashira Park again. Oh. Okay. Bo I think that's good. On our outfits, or on our uh, PE uniforms, I mean, so not bad, Amamiya Senpai. You're pretty flexible and you catch on so fast. At this rate, you'll have the fundamentals down in a heartbeat. My body's aching just for mimicking Kasumi's poses. It's all about the harmony between the internal and external oblique muscles. I can't get enough of it. We're just getting started. I knew it! Well, feisty, are we? I'm glad to hear it. Expert level gymnasts are beautiful, but they demand a lot of stretching. Alright, let's continue. I stretched with Kasumi. Good effort! I think that's enough for uh, enough stretching for now. Good effort, Senpai. And um I'd like to continue with our training, but I'm actually not doing so great at the moment, so I'm not sure I could manage anything too strenuous. So you doing okay? Lucky for me, uh, next time then. Thank you for understanding. I was thinking... Do you remember how I said I wanted to talk to you about something? I've been feeling like I'm stuck in this slump. No matter how much I practice, I just can't get any better. I went to my coach about it, but... She told me to take some time off from gymnastics. According to her, I need to think about who I really am. The idea is not to stop doing gymnastics, just she wants, to, she wants me to take a break. I see. 
I never had an issue that practice couldn't be solved, but now I have no idea what to do. So I want you to help me. You know. Even if we're not doing gymnastics, we'll still keep going out with me. Or will you still keep going out with me? Um, romantically? <laughs> I just want to see the reaction. No. Oh, she's so straight face. Oh, no. Not like that. Shit. Okay, so I've heard my coach praising me. She says, Kasumi is great as weapon has always been her boldness. And honestly, that used to be true. I was totally fearless, confident. Gymnastics uh, was a fun challenge. But ever since I started high school, I've been in a slump. I got taller for one and there were some other complications. I can move how I want anymore. Like, it's not even on my own body. I kind of fell into a depression. It got pretty bad. But... But when you helped me in Shibuya, something occurred to me. When I saw how fearless you are, how confident you are, I knew you were the right one for the job. If I stick with you, Senpai, I think I can learn how to be confident again. L leave it to me. Yes! Great, thank you. You're a strange one, Senpai. I didn't think you'd accept. Well, I'll try it and return the favor to our deal. I can sense Kasumi's appreciation. Level 2. Oh, allows you to avoid being surrounded by enemies. That is nice though, yeah. When I accidentally don't try to hit the enemy and then I get hit instead. This is nice, yes. All right. Tumbling. Okay, now tumbling. Oh, excuse me. I should get going. I have a meeting with my I'll coach. Be heading home now. I need to get going for today, but I'll make sure you don't regret this. Bye bye. Thanks to Kasumi's training, I feel like my stamina is increased. All right. My HP as well. So Maruki and Kasumi are increasing our stats, right? SP HP. Thank you very much for joining me today. Are you feeling sore after all that? You place stress on muscles that you don't use very often, so please remember to massage them before you sleep. But I'm so glad you accepted my request. I was so relieved, I suddenly got really hungry, and then my stomach wouldn't stop growling in my meeting. Gotta push through. No, no, no. Impressive. Thank you very much, though. I don't know what that's really worth any praise. An excessive diet tends to make most people feel sick, but it seems to have an opposite effect on me. But since you're helping me out, I'll do whatever it takes to maintain my shape. I hope you can help me next time, Senpai. I'll be reaching out again soon. Well then, I'll talk to you soon. Ah, you're back. I'm back. You know how we're going to the TV station tomorrow? I'm thinking we might find our next target there. Oh, that's right. We're always hearing gossip about the dark sides of celebrities, so you're absolutely right. Without much money, they've probably got their fingers in all sorts of uh, dirty businesses. That phrasing has quite the immoral ring to it. Dude, you always react to the weirdest stuff. Anyway, we got to observe a live recording of a show, right? Maybe we're gonna be on TV. We'll just be in the crowd, remember? Any TV appearances oh, would be like for two seconds. Try not to pull any fanciful stunts to garner attention, okay? Okay. Okay, so what do we do? What can we do? Hmm. Let's go to... No, no, no. Let's go to Shibuya. Mishima. Okay, let's do Mishima. Come on. Yes. Hang out with him. All right, let's go. <laughs> Today's my treat. Oh, it's the same. We're here. Isn't this place expensive? 8,000 yen per person? Phantom thieves are all about fancy stuff like this, right? That's why we're here. Oh, and it's just the two of us, so don't be afraid to go all out. What do you want to eat? I want some steak. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Meat's perfect for tough guys like us. By the way, this is all you can eat, so let's make sure our, we get our money's worth. Actually. Anyway, is I posted on the fan site that I had a connection to you guys. The fandom really ate that up. 
<laughs> Don't worry though, I didn't say anything that would point to my real identity. I did end up talking about how expensive it is to run our little organization though. The donations I got after that were pretty generous to say the least. But I guess our loving sponsors just wanted to show some support. Not bad for a strategic management, huh? <laughs> this, this sounds like a scam. <laughs> I'll just say you're amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's why he has money for this place. Let's take advantage of this windfall as much as we can. <laughs> oh, and it's okay to consider this meal an organizational expense, right? Wait a minute. I've seen on the news that using donations for stuff other than what's publicized is a serious crime. Food is definitely an acceptable business expense, but can you can but can the same be said of an expensive buffet? Oh. The more I think about this whole thing, the less I think we should use the donations here. I mean people would get mad at a politician for using tax money for personal affairs. The same probably applies to the Phantom Thieves. I guess returning the money would be the best choice. Maybe we can keep it. But yeah, this is a wrong answer though. But I want to say it though. Hmm. Of course it would. That's right. Yeah, we really need to make sure we keep the image of the Phantom Thieves cleaner in our fans' minds. I think I'll return the money and thank the Phantom for their generosity. They'll love that. It might be a waste of some nice resources, but it's all good as long as it boosts our popularity, right? Man, maybe I was born to do the strategy stuff. I'm honestly getting pretty good at it. Don't worry. I'm still gathering info on the forum too. I'm actually ha I, I actually have a few solid leads right now. Everything so far has been close to home, but these next ones are going to blow your socks off. Rank 4. All right. Oh. <sighs> I'm flat broke. Are you serious? Now I'm gonna have to pay? <laughs> I guess let's just go home. <laughs> My god. Oh, sorry for dragging you out for no reason again. As a strategic image management rep for the Phantom Thieves, I wanted to splurge a little boost uh, to morale, but I guess it ended up being pretty good for our PR in the end, right? Eh, that's one way to view it. It's all about thinking strategically. It was kind of rough avoiding the employee's glare on the way out, but we gotta stay positive. There's still so much I have to do for you guys. I'll work even harder. I want to be a real asset to the Phantom Thieves. Okay, bye-bye. And that's why we recruit sponsors to help make TV shows. I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor-related product placements. To sum things up, ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding, and... Huh. Everyone knows that. Chill, man. For example, soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Could this get any more obvious? Hmm, you're right. <sighs> so sleepy. So, the best parts are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. Hey, how much longer does this go? I swear, I'm not gonna last. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I can't stand all this noise. Hey, asshole. M my apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Damn it! Who does that jerk think he is? Hey there. You wanna be on TV? Whoa. Huh? And got scouted. You got a slamming bot after all. <laughs> uh, I'm on a school trip. Just give me a call if you're interested. Jesus Christ, he doesn't even care that she's a student. Day or night. Uh, yeah. 
Greatly welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. Actual Do these creed. adults care about anything other than looks? I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. Will you quiet down? You're supposed to be acting like good students today. I understand you're bored, but please don't cause any trouble, okay? Well then, uh... Let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for assistant camera. When okay. we're moving cameras, we need people who can keep the cables from getting tangled up. The blonde will do. The he blonde seems like will he's do. got energy to spare anyway. Ryuji. The guy next to him, you can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. Feeling lonely. Damn it. This sucks. Ah, what a pain in the ass! This is totally killing my vibe. We fought valiantly against the long cables. I'm so pissed off! Aren't we supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? This is bullshit! I, going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. Quiet down, will you? I get how you feel, though. That sucked for the both of us. Well, we gotta do more of this tomorrow, too? No flaking out, Ryuji. I know, I know. I gotta be a good boy, right? <laughs> Being Phantom Thieves ain't easy. And that reminds me, we get to go home straight from here today. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Oh, I know a place! I want to go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here! Pancake-looking place? It looked place. delicious! What was that? Oh, you mean Dome Town? The round part is a baseball stadium, then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. All right, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. Going on a scary ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. Not like cats can get on anyways. Really? Really. You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but you'd totally puke if you did that. But, uh, let's just go to Dome Town. I'm really feeling it now. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. Ah, uh, I think I'll pass on the puke rides. The puke rides. Excuse me. Pleasant boy. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Didn't we see this guy? Of Shujin Academy? In the beginning, I think? Yeah, what do you want? I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. <laughs> Where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Goro Akechi? Akechi? Filming? What, you a celebrity? <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Oh! My apologies. I truly was just passing by. I must be going. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. So you're going to go have cake now? I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. Why, you heard that? Huh? Cake? What are you talking about? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. No matter. Well, see you tomorrow. That guy's gotta be some kind of startup entertainer or something. He's never gonna get popular with that kind of hair, though. You don't get it. <laughs> that kind of here. It's fine. We'll see him again tomorrow, anyways. Come on, let's get a dome town. Oh, it's automatic, right? Sudobashi. Okay, Ul ultimate urban leisure. All right. Hey, can we skip the vomit machines and get cake instead? I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, for real, my stomach's churning. This is why I spoke against it. Mm, dude, it's not fair. Ugh, using your cathood as an excuse. Only at times like this. Cathood. Anyway, are you guys feeling hungry? How about some pancakes? Let's go home. We have another full day ahead of us tomorrow.
Whoa. That it? Well then. Okay. They're gonna film us at the TV station tomorrow. So what can we do today? <laughs> okay, let's visit uh Central Station Square. Lottery stand. Hi. Yeah. Well then. Left middle one. Oh man. Left. Oh, man. A okay. miss again. Come on. What the hell? Welcome. Okay. Okay, let's check out oh, as well. The yeah, this one, the baseball one. We haven't tried this yet. Then I see. Hmm. I haven't seen you here before. Using batting cages. Oh, proficiency here. Slugger. Wanna give it a try? Yes, I'll play. Beginner or intermediate? We haven't done any we haven't done this yet though. We'll try beginner. Good luck. Oh we actually can okay, we're actually playing now. Nice. Go. Oh, oh shit. Nice. Oh, oh shit. How many times? Hey, hey. What? Uh, miss again? <sighs> okay, we got one. But we need to okay. hit the bullseye, though. Nice. Bullseye. <laughs> Nice. Nice. <laughs> Miss. <sighs> Too early. <sighs> Not a horrible swing. What? I clicked a. Hey, hey. Nice. So we can do this until we get three oh. home runs. Is that it? <sighs> hey, hey. There we go. Second one. Nice. One more. Hey, hey. Oh, it was close though. Mm -hmm. okay, one ah. more, one more. Okay. Too low. Oh. Do we 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 got it. Nice. We nearly got it. Okay, I think this is just luck. Yeah, you need to place it better. Hey, hey. I think I, if I hit it, that, if I actually hit that, it's a home run probably. Okay, last, last, hey, hey. last ten, last ten, one. But don't hit it. We're got, we're done. One. <sighs> hey, two. Two. <laughs> I'm I'm putting it lower. Three. Oh. Four. Hey, hey. Five. I'm trying to delay it to see uh. if it actually works like that. Six. Six. Okay. Seven. 
Okay, last two. Eight, nine, ten. Hey, hey. Eight. Then nine. Hey, hey. Nine. Okay, last one. Ten. Hit or yes. not, we'll we'll go. Okay, let's go. Nice. Wanna give it a try? That's enough for nice now. Going. We'll be in July. Wanna head back? That was fun though. Even though I keep I kept missing. That was a nice one. Different. Mr. Akechi's coming on. Ain't that the guy from yesterday? Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Uh, hello there. Thank hello you for there. taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Moving along, we've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, Detective? Oh, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madarame. There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention, too, Akechi-kun. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real? I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. Although, mm. if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. <clears throat> <laughs> Why but hypothetically happen? speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. I have to say, though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these Phantom Thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then, let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi-kun about the Phantom Thieves. First, Please press your button now if you think the Phantom Thieves exist. Press it. Of course they do. Seventeen. About thirty percent or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. Oh no, they're gonna ask me. Oh All hell right. no. Let's try asking this student here. I don't want to be TV. Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these phantom thieves if they were real? They, they, uh, they're necessary. Ah, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. This completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, Kechikun. I want to fight. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that case... There's one more question I'd like to ask. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? They only target criminals. I see. But how can you be so sure? Whether the thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Hmm? What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh, please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. 
It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. It kinda seemed like what he was saying might be right. Hmm. He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. That stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? He can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Okay. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going, okay? Oh, it's you. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. To paraphrase Hegel, or? advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Adults are only interested in using the young. All they simply do as the adults say. There are too many irresponsible people in these modern times. I can understand why you'd support the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. It's possible that this group is just as you believe, and they are truly acting with good intentions. Since they have special talents, I assume their hearts must be burning with a sense of justice and duty. But that justice is merely a facade, concealing their lack of true strength. That's why I believe if a truly powerful opponent were to corner them, they would flee without a second thought. They wouldn't run. They'd fight to the end. Oh? You really are intriguing. I bet you'd make for a worthwhile debate partner on the subject. If it's alright with you, would you continue sharing your thoughts with me? It's fine by me. Thank you. That's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. <laughs> Kidding, of course. Oh, he's a... Uh, confidant. Got a new one. I can't believe you evaded the police's network until today. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Explain yourself. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Justice Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Justice, rank one. All right. Ah, yes. We should exchange contact info. And registered. Well, registered. I hope to see you again sometime soon. The detective's intuition, huh? We shouldn't underestimate that. On the other hand, there's an awful lot we could learn from him. If he contacts you, try hanging out with him. Okay. <sighs> Sorry for taking so long. Ryuji. <laughs> Wait, was that a catchy? I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. I'm just breathing the same air as it makes me sick. Come on, let's go. What a boring field trip. We didn't even find any worthwhile targets. <laughs> that a catchy bastard. Thinking about what he said is just pissing me off again. He clearly tried to discredit everything we're doing. And he just had to say it on live TV too. Don't be sour. Of course people. Of course there are going to be people like that. That's going to be. Uh, what do you call this? Opposite of what we're doing. There are even without a doubt people we have saved. Those people could not have been saved if not for the heroics of the Phantom Thieves. 
I'm living proof of that. Aw, what a nice thing to say. Still, was it a catchy coon said actually wrong? I feel like he had a point. Why do you have to bring that up now? I mean, is it really okay to be doing this to people just because they're criminals? I mean, they're doing really, really bad things. Like Kamoshida, pretty much abusing, assaulting the students, right? And then Madarame, stealing the artworks of his students, the ideas, right? I mean, of course. Doesn't it seem a little selfish? We're phantom thieves, Anne. I don't ever want to forgive us for what we did for Madarame. Yet I still decided that, that was a necessary act. Kamoshida too, we weren't gonna do shit to him through any kind of normal methods. That's true, but what do you think, Ren? Are we being selfish? Honestly, we're helping people, so yeah. Like, especially if you look at the one for Kamoshida. That one, that was a big, big one, right? I guess I can't really think of any other way. I believe our best path forward is seeking to our justice, not that of the law. Should that, shouldn't it be, that be enough? And with the unanimous decision rule in place, I doubt we'll lose our way. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for bringing that up. And don't worry, I'm not thinking about quitting the Phantom Thieves or nothing. Just you watch, Akechi. Someday you're totally gonna see who was right. Okay, let's stop talking about this for now. That Detective Akechi seems to have a lot of influence on the media. It'd be dangerous to get too close to him, but he may actually prove useful in some situations. Okay, Mishima again. I'm furious, you heard what Akechi said, right? How dare he declare the Phantom Thieves are criminals. As the admin of the Phantom Aficionado website, I can't say quite about this. I'm going to show Akechi how people online feel, really feel. I'll change up the survey question tomorrow morning. Justice is with Phantom Thieves. Keep on doing what you do best. Why is he of all people getting angry about this? True. <laughs> anyway, he means the survey on the fan site, right? I guess we should look forward to it. Okay. Yes, we will end our episode there for today. So, yes, we met a new confidant, Akechi. Let's see. Let's see. He may be a problem. He may be an enemy. Because he is, uh, what do you call, what do you call that again? Against, yes, what the Phantom Thieves are doing. We're just gonna have to see, we're just gonna have to see. So, yeah, we will do more of Persona 5 Royal in the next one. So, I'll just see you then, guys. Bye-bye.